Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be solving fourth problem of lead code weekly contest 367 that is 2096 construct product matrix. Okay, pause the video, read the question and then we will proceed to the solution. Okay, so the question is saying that we'll be given a 2D matrix grid of size n cross m and now what we have to do is we have to calculate a 2D matrix product such that product or pij will be product of all the elements of grid except grid ij element okay so the question is very straightforward what it is saying is so let's say we are given a grid and for any particular cell let's say uh, we have to return another this is a given grid okay and let uh, we have to return another sa same dimensional grid that is of m cross n or n cross m so let's say if if number of rows is n and number of columns is m then we will return same grid of n cross m now for any particular grid let's say this one consider this as equal so for this particular grid what we have to return is we have to return the product of all this product of all this product of all these numbers except this number okay so what we have to return for any particular grid ij for any particular ij or let's say this is p or answer so product of ij will basically be what will be its value product of all the numbers present in this grid except this one except this one that is ij grid ij except grid ij okay so question seems to be very uh, straightforward now the very basic approach what can be the basic approach is we can simply run a loop like if you for particular ij let's say if i want to calculate the value of ij then what we can do i can simply run a loop for i is equals to zero i less than n where n is number of columns and i plus plus similarly for int j equals to zero j less than m and j plus plus and if and we will have one condition if i is not equal equal to let's say if we are we wanted to calculate it for 2 comma 3 okay so let's say if we want to calculate our result for 2 comma 3 cell so i is not equal to j and j is not equal to 3 okay sorry yes not equal to not equal to 3 then we will just multiply it in our product and finally and finally we can assign it something like this that product of 2 comma 3 will be equal to okay let's say it's product this is called product prod so let's say its value will be prod okay but we know that this can go up to n from 1 to n or 0 to n minus 1 and similarly this can go from 0 to n mi m minus 1 so for this if we'll run a loop something like uh, you know for this multiply across this and then we will calculate for each of them then it will take n square into m square but seeing the constraint we cannot run such a big loop okay so we have to come up with some optimized approach so let's say let's say if this is just a 1d array okay and i said that tell me tell me what will be the and see there is many elements and i ask you okay guys tell me what will be the product of all the elements except this element okay then it's again simple you can iterate it over uh, iterate over this array and you can just skip this element where the, let's say if it is index is 5 or 0 1 2 3 4 so we'll skip if i is not equal to 4 then take the product or let's say p is equals to p multiplied by array of i p multiplied equal to sorry okay or if i asked you ki, okay tell me tell me for each position like for i is equals to 0 for i equals to 1 tell me what will be the product of this entire array except that element then what you can do <laughs> like for this for this let's say if you know what is the product of this value or from here to here then what you can do you can simply say okay this will be the uh, result so what I am saying is let's say if this is an array and if we want to calculate the product of this particular position. Okay. So let's say if I have 
one array called prefix what will that store that will store the product of elements from the beginning till before that element okay so what i am saying is let's say if number were something like 2 3 4 1 2 something like this okay so what it will store before this the product let's consider initial product as one so before this product was one okay here we will multiply this element and it will be two for this it will be six so prefix of i will represent the product of elements before i okay so what prefix of i is representing prefix of i prefix of i will will denote product of all the elements before i -th position product of all elements all elements before i -th position before i -th position okay now can we construct a similar can we construct a similar array called suffix where suffix of i will denote product of all the elements product of all the elements all the elements after after ith position after ith position okay so what i am saying is let's say if it was our given initial array okay given initial array and then we cal calculated a uh, array called prefix this was our array this is our prefix array and then we calculated a suffix array and we know that we know that for any particular position i okay if any particular position i we know that prefix of i will calculate uh, or store the product of all the elements before i okay and suffix of suffix of i or suffix of i will what it will contain product of all the elements after i okay so for our answer answer of i can we can simply can can't we simply return this prefix of i multiplied by suffix of i don't you think that will give our answer because we already know that prefix of i will store the product of all the elements from the beginning and suffix of i will store all the elements from the end okay so if we want our answer for that particular cell i or position i we can simply return product of a prefix of i multiplied by suffix of i okay i hope this will be clear till here now how can we calculate prefix of i or suffix of i this is very simple so initially we can have something like product is equals to one and for int i is equals to zero till i less than n i plus plus and we can simply write prefix of i is equals to p and then we can update our p is equals to or p is equals to p multiplied by whatever the value here we have array of i okay so in this scenario uh, in this way we can calculate prefix of i or similarly for suffix what we can do we can run a loop from i is equals to n minus 1 to till i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus okay so prefix and suffix of i can easily be calculated okay so and yeah we can also take uh, into consideration that we have mod so we we will take mod separately nothing to worry about okay so now let's say uh till till now we have our solution ready but if only if it was a 1d array here what we have been given is we have been given 2d array okay so we don't need to worry what we know already know is we can somehow if we can somehow calculate such a in such a way that for any particular cell if i have if i have product of all the numbers let's say if i have product of all the numbers till here because like i am moving in this fashion okay so i am moving in this fashion here 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 so i am moving in this fashion first of all i'll go here then i'll go here okay then similarly i'll go here so for this cell let's say if i have i have at this place the product of all the elements before this and similarly similarly if i would have you know let me change the color so let's say if i would have started moving from here then again here and then again here and similarly if i'll somehow calculate the product of all the numbers such that that will represent the product of all the numbers after this cell so how can we do that that's very simple because see if i'll run a loop something like this 
or first of all let's say n is the number of columns and m is number of the sorry n is number of rows and m is number of the columns now we can have our suffix of suffix array and prefix array both both arrays of size n cross m okay n cross m and in the very similar fashion let's say our initial product was one now i can run a loop for int i is equals to zero i less than n and i plus plus now i said that we'll be moving in this fashion like we'll start from zeroth column and then we'll move to end of the column and again in the next row we'll start from zeroth column and we'll move Be why we are doing this because we want to store the product of all the elements before this particular cell okay so what we can do is we can again run a nested loop for j equals to zero j less than m j plus plus okay now what we know like whatever the product till now we have we can simply assign as prefix of prefix of ij is equals to product and we can simply update our product as product multiplied by whatever the value we have at ij okay think about this what i am saying is we will simply run a loop initially what we will have let me draw here itself okay so what i am saying is let's say let's say we have a grid okay we have a grid initially initially we are at outside of the grid and our, we are considering that our product is one because one will not affect our answer if it is multiplied by anything else okay so for this position what we'll do we'll simply just put one because that is a very starting position for this position before moving from here from before moving from here what we'll do we'll multiply the value of whatever this position holds okay so let's say it, uh okay for better understanding let's make one or more array so let's say here was two, two three four something like this so initially our p was one so we have assigned one over here better visibility let me change it okay so we assigned one over here now before moving out of this cell what we will do we will update our p so grid of ij that is grid of 0 0 is 2 so we will multiply it 1 by 2 now our p becomes 2 so when we will increase our column and we will reach at this cell our p has already become 2 okay now before leaving this we will multiply it by 3 and our p will become what p become 2 and then p become 6 okay so we will assign 6 over here and before leaving that we will multiply our p and it will become 24 so if you will see for here we will assign it 24 so what we are seeing that yes we are multiplying all the numbers before reaching that particular cell similarly similarly if we will reverse the order of loops how not exactly reverse the if we will start traversing from the bottom if i is equals to n minus 1 i greater than equal to 0 and i minus minus and similarly for j is equals to m minus 1 j greater than equal to 0 and j minus minus okay and rest it will be same except what we'll do uh, instead of prefix we can write suffix of ij is equals to p and then we can multiply it by p again by p is equal to grid of ij so in this scenario what we are doing is let's visualize it so if we'll see what we are trying to do is we are starting from here okay initially we will assign just p or 1 okay then we will multiply this value and then we will move into this again we will multiply into this again we will multiply the value from there and move into this and again we will move into here because we are starting from here last column last cell and then we are moving into this direction so if we will see for any cell if for any cell let's say what we have stored over here we would store here over here like we will start moving from here then we will again go from here and we'll keep on the multiplication of all the elements right and then we will again come here and then this we will store the value whatever the value we have till this much elements will store in this similarly what prefix was storing all the values all like product of all the values till this element so for this particular cell what we have uh, what will be our answer you can simply write our answer of ij is equal equals to prefix of ij multiplied by prefix uh, sorry suffix of ij okay now i have not taken into consideration the mod so wherever it will be appropriate we can simply take mod 
here mod and overall also a mod can be there okay so those things are very basic things but i hope the solution would be clear to you let's go through the code okay just give me a moment guys yeah so first of all what calculated we row and the column of the grid then we have three vectors one is our answer vector or answer grid or and prefix and suffix okay so we have calculated our prefix how we calculate to be starting at the first row and the rows column and then we started moving from left to right and then column wise okay so we have first assigning the value of prefix either because we wanted to have the value as all the elements before rises so we are first assigning it then we are multiplying with all the uh, all the elements at ij position and finally we are taking the mod because in answer we have to return the mod with 1 to 3 4 5 okay so we are taking the mod so that it does not overflow so and again we reach, we initialize the p because we are using p itself okay so then again what we have do uh, what we have did we have calculated the suffix array we started from the bottom row bottom cell and we started moving from right to left okay so our suffix was also calculated then for final answer what we have done we we had simply multiplied prefix of ij multiplied by prefix of ij sorry prefix ij into suffix of ij and we have stored that into answer okay we don't need to use long long over here we can simply use int as well that won't be an issue and finally we have returned the answer vector okay let's try to submit the solution so it's an ac solution let me know guys if you have any doubt on this solution thank you thank you guys